Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY feature videos. For this DIY, I'll be transforming a three-shelf bookcase into a shoe bench with storage. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. I saw this rundown bookcase sitting on the sidewalk, so I decided to bring it home and transform it into something more useful. This bookcase comes with adjustable shelves and hooks, but I'll be removing the hooks because I would not be using them for this DIY project. And if you are wondering, here are the measurements for this bookcase and I also found a similar one on Amazon and I'll leave that link below if you decide to recreate this project. So to start off, I'll be cleaning this bookcase very thoroughly. And to help with the balancing and make it much stronger, I added more nails where I felt it needed it. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. I also glued down any pieces that were sticking out and anywhere else and needed it. I placed the bookcase on the side and I added PVC tubes underneath for a little bit of height. Next I'll be adding both shelves back in and using the little holes as my guidelines. I'll be holding my shelves with 2 inch nails and I'll be hammering 3 nails on both sides. Once I was done with all my prep, I'll be using this gray matte paint and primer to paint my bookcase. I'll be using a sponge brush to paint any corners that my paint roller could not get in. Next I'll be using four cartwheels and I'll start placing them on the bottom of my bookcase in position and then I'll be marking my placements. Next, I'll be using my cordless hand drill to pre-drill all the holes. Once I was done, I changed the position, repeating all the same steps. I'll be holding all my wheels in place using half-inch screws. I took foam board and cut it to size and I cut two to fit the side of my cart and then I covered them with gray and white marble contact paper. I'll be gluing one on each side of my bench. For the inside I'll be using gray and white marble grip liner and these are slip resistance free and I'll be cutting them to size. I decided to go with a grip liner because once they get dirty, they're easy to replace. I'll be using mirrored mosaic tiles to cover up the edges.
Next, I'll be using four or five inch round mirrors and I'll start by removing them from their frames. Once that was done, I took them to a well ventilated area and spray paint on metallic silver. Once they were dry, I'll be applying mirror mosaic tiles around the edges on all four. Once that was done, I'll be applying a generous amount of hot glue and I'll be gluing two on each side. Next, I'll be using this shepherd throw blanket to make the pillow for my bench. This blanket comes with a darker and lighter side, but I'll be using the darker side for my pillow. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Next, I cut two pieces to size. Because I'll be using the darker side, I put one facing up and one facing down, and then I'll hold them in place with pins. Love the way this pillow turned out and if you would like to see more DIY pillows please leave a comment below. I really do love the way this turned out. Not bad for a broken down bookcase turning into a shoe bench. Because this shoe bench is portable it can be placed anywhere in your home including your entryway when you might want to put on your shoes on the way out or take them off on the way in or in your bedroom at the end of your bed. Basically, this shoe bench can be used for anything. You could also put books underneath if you would not like to use this for shoes. Another great feature are the mirrors on the sides when trying on your shoes or putting them on. And no, I was not going to model the shoes for you because I didn't have anything to wear with them. Another great idea is to add three LED remote touch lights. It's a great idea when you have those dark rooms in your home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.